Aspire is a two-year project, a, a lottery-funded project, which um, is looking really to help older people within Torvine. It's a very exciting project. It's a befriending scheme that's been launched in January this year. There were a lot of people out there, I think, who needed help, but they didn't need help to, to do things for them. They needed people to go in and, and just beat that isolation. This kind of support, free of charge, is very much needed. We discovered that we change people's lives, we help them, and it's pretty instant change. Myself and Lucas, Lucas started going in and making friends with people and just having laugh, just laughing with people and um, just chatting, just everyday stuff, the power of a cup of tea. We've got some fantastic people who really gained um, emotionally and physically from actually moving about more, going out, doing art classes, joining into groups that they never would have done if they didn't have somebody to take, you know, take them. We help them to understand that they're not lonely, they can get help, uh, they can get support, they can get something pleasurable and some sort of quality of life with our service. What I don't want is anybody to be lonely and anybody have to be on their own because it's such simple steps, um, such little things can make a big difference to people's lives. had any idea um, you know who they were or anything like that so I phoned a couple of numbers. Little did I know or realise that the three to four hundred Nepalese people living in the community where we live um, and it snowballed into we have now 40 volunteers who are really kind, lovely, um, energetic, special people actually and they really want to look after older people in Torvine. Queen's Ages, what a great lady we've come to know. Warmth and comfort she does show. Hello, Mavis. Hello. Well, it's just amazing. Like, every time we see each other, we've got a big, great smile on our faces, and it's just nice to be there for someone. And yeah, our relationship has blossomed over the few months, and we're just like, as if we've like met for years and years and years. I found a wonderful friend through it, and um, I wish I had a daughter, which I haven't, but I wish I had one like her. Every visit is the funniest time, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> and she's always excited for me to come around and it's just nice to see that in someone, you know. Look forward to it. Um, and I hope I can see, for, see her forever. <laughs> it gives me a great sense of achievement that I've like, I'm doing this on my own back, like no one's um, forced me to do anything and it really just like gives me a sense of life back as well. So mum, on your 80th birthday, with much love, we all would like to say good health and God long life for many a year, full of happiness and not many a tear. Woo! And that's in Buckingham Palace. Weekends here can be exceptionally lonely um, if you don't know many people in the area or you're not able to get out. Um, I don't feel I'm ready to go to pensioners. <laughs> There's lots of perceptions about the young people with the older people and we've got some really good matches of volunteers and older people where they're quite young, the volunteers, and they absolutely get on really well. Well, when I first saw Kerry, I thought, I've been given a, a young girl who's perhaps doing some work experience because Kerry does look young. I was slightly nervous, but as soon as we we met, we we clicked, and it was like we'd known each other years. My younger nephew, that's where he learned to snowboard. She's never negative, never bright. She's bubbly. Thinking that you're doing something, you know for free and you know it's your own time and you're making a difference to someone's life is so rewarding so that's made a difference to me that I just wake up every day feeling good so I feel I can trust Kerry if I wanted to to stop for any reason or or, or another or I wanted to come home I know she she'd be on the phone for the taxi and we'd, we'd be back I, I just feel I can trust her I think it'd be very fulfilling, 
you know, to give a few hours out of my own time and perhaps mix in the community and with different ages and nothing bad that could come out of it. It was all positive. The befriending service was, was um, exactly what it says, giving you a friend. Well, I, I came here uh, about five years ago and uh, at first I found it a bit difficult to settle down. But I must say that the Welsh people were more than lovely to mix with. They made me very welcome. I don't drive anymore now, so I rely on the, this um, project now for to get out and about. It was one of the best things that's happened since I came. This, befriending service. Once you're sitting in a flat all the time by yourself, it's lovely to go around and see all the nice things in the shop. Women always do, I think. <laughs> see all the, the, the change of fashions, etc. She made me feel so much at ease. I felt I knew her for all my life. I think it's a wonderful idea, for me anyway. <laughs> Come in. Oh, hello. How are you, Malcolm? All right. Darren's been here a couple of months. Now I think it is. And um, I'm glad to see him, of course. I met Malcolm uh, about the end of May. Um, I come to see him on, on a once, <laughs> once a week basis. Until you get involved with this, you don't realise how many people there are actually in the community that they're lonely. On Friday, I go down, you know, I go down to town. Have food, fish and chips, egg and chips are. Oh, he likes his egg and chips, and his fish and chips. <laughs> I, th I think in Malcolm's situation, he, he gets very lonely. He could be sat here all day with only his television to, to look at. So hopefully we can come out and sort of fill his day. Not only are they making the lives of older people really, really special, then they can get on and maybe it gives them self-esteem that people we've got, you know, volunteers who, who may have been out of work for a long time and looking for another direction. Until I, I got involved with this project, it's something that I wouldn't have dreamed of doing. It actually builds confidence in people because it's, it's putting you in a position where you have to sort of go out, meet people, it, they put you through courses. I know it's only a couple of hours a week, but... Um, those couple of hours do make a difference, I think. Yeah. I personally do the nails for, for the ladies and they do really enjoy that as well. It's nice to see them, you know, have that bit of pampering because they don't get it, obviously, being a bit older and some of them are not able to go out. And you can really see it does, you know, you can see it on their face that they're really enjoying it. So it's nice just to kind of do that, really. Some people don't have families and, you know, even that one visit in that, one, in that week can make a huge difference. You do get a lot back from it and, you know, if you've got the time, why not really? You know, there's so many people out there that, that need that extra little bit and an hour or two out of your day can really make a difference to someone's life. Uh, my service user is Graham. Uh, he's a lovely man. He couldn't talk to you, he's very nervous, uh, but now he's, he's talking, he's interacting with people. He goes to places, public places, where he wouldn't before. Uh, he loves his art, loves his art with a passion. We can see the difference, the confidence within volunteers, within months of coming along, and the, and the, the confidence with the older people who are getting the, the help is just, out, uh, it's amazing for me. He actually smiles now. You know, he laughs, you can have a little bit of a joke with him. I could never do this six, six, eight months ago. You'd never get me to do this. I can actually talk to people. Um, I enjoy, I enjoy listening to people now. I can interact with people more. I never thought I could make a difference to anybody's life, but I have. If you're interested in this sort of work in the community, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal place to start. You know, it can go as far as you want it to go, and I will 
you know, hopefully take Graham as far as I can possibly go. You know, I will get him to a stage, hopefully, where he's confident to go out on his own in the community. We don't realise what potential lies in, in volunteers when we first meet them. They don't fail to surprise me all the time. The volunteers are so special to me because I know that they do it, they do it for free. They do it because they want to do it and they do it because they're really kind people. You cannot really measure it. Uh, you cannot put any money value to that. Although you're giving something, you, you know, you're getting back ten times as much as you can ever give. I would like to thank my volunteers for the work they do. It's very much appreciated and I hope that this will continue. Mm -hmm.